Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Gemini. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Now I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind, so please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So we're going to use several decks today, um, but we're starting off with this one. This is the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm shuffling this way because we're just going to do a straightforward, upright reading for this week. But obviously, if there is a reversal that comes out, I will give you guys the interpretation. So let's get into the reading, shall we? Angels of Love and Light, could you please have clear and concise messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please and thank you. Okay, what do we have here for Gemini? Okay, Six of Swords, interesting. So I feel like there's potentially some travel involved here. Um, you could be travelling towards each other or one of you are traveling away from a relatively tricky situation from the past, you know, kind of packed your bags and you're ready to go. Um, I feel like someone is following their intuition in moving out of a challenging, I'm getting home environment, okay? So this could be for someone that has been um, with their kind of own family in the sense that they have children with, with a karmic partner or a karmic ex potentially, or this is their own actual family as in parents and siblings, etc., or immediate family or close family or loved ones, okay? So I feel potentially someone could be relocating or moving out, um, moving out of home. I'm getting fleeing the nest, so somebody could be moving out of their, I'm getting childhood home. I feel as well, I'm getting very much drawn to um, the side of the boat here. Um, and I don't know if you would be able to see it, but there is a tiny little star on the side, okay? So on the side of the boat, I feel like this person is following a particular star. Maybe this person views you as a star. Um, you could be a star as a guiding light to this person. And they're kind of following of that. They have you in mind. Um, I'm getting a sense of like a memento. So maybe when you last saw of each other or spoke of each other there was like a heartwarming message that you left to this person or you gave um something for them to kind of remember you by um not necessarily to be so dramatic as that so if you guys you know um what's the word you just parted ways or there was something that you had before and you may have accidentally left something at theirs or, you know, I'm getting a piece of jewellery may have fell off and this person picked it up and they've kept hold of it. Or maybe this person hasn't even let you know that they've got this, I'm getting for some of you. Um, but they've got this kind of little keepsake and it kind of spurs them in, and, like spurs them on and spurs them into the direction that they want to go to. I'm getting that for some reason. So obviously, please take me feel resonates. But... I feel things are starting to really um, calm down between the two of you. I feel like you may have been in separation for quite some time here. What else can we get here, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Obviously, with these messages, as it's a general reading, please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest, guys. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Temperance. So you could be dealing um, with a Sagittarius, but also look, you know, this is like the angel of temperance. We have these angel wings in the background. There's, there's a sense of protection in this connection. And I'm also getting that sense that this person is also, I'm getting guided and they're heavily guarded, like as in the sense like they're protected. So whatever move that they're making, it's very much in tune with where they need to be or where they're going to go next. And I feel like this person's becoming more comfortable in the sense of recognizing where their next kind of chapter is and how that is gonna turn out. Like I feel very much that this person is having to be very patient right now and to keep themselves in balance, keep themselves in check. Um, 
I feel like this person is so determined to kind of get on with the rest of their life and leave something that's not serving them anymore that they may be doing things a little bit hasty, they may be a little bit reckless. So they may be getting told here to kind of just calm it down a little bit, like they will eventually get to where they want to get to, but they need to things, let things like naturally flow. Um, yeah, I'm getting a sense of ebb and flow. So this person needs to kind of go along with things a little bit more, okay? Oh my gosh, with the Two of Pentacles. You know, the sense of ebb and flow. And look at that, there's your energy, guys, with the Gemini card of the lovers underneath. So potentially this is you guys, um, and your person could be going through all of this, or it could be sw switched around. I'm getting switcheroo for some reason. That is definitely not something I would normally say, but switcheroo. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely trying to prioritise a... Wow, I'm getting divine connection. A strong soulmate connection here. Okay. I'm getting even twin flames with that lovers because that is the twin energy. So divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, yep, yeah, and then we have the hermit, which is Virgo energy. And then we have two of swords and then hangman, which is Pisces energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, a fellow Gemini, a Sagittarius or a Pisces for some of you. But you could be seeing lots of twos as well, 22 or 222. Two, two. I feel you and your love interest are very much going to come together for reunion and reconciliation. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of sunshine and happiness and rainbows I'm getting with this kind of seven of pentacles in the sun. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Um, I'm getting don't rain on my parade. So potentially your person has actually voiced what they want and where they want to invest their time, their energy and their resources. And they may have had a bit of back chat from other people around them causing a load of arguments and so therefore they're like look i'm really happy about this decision i want to go forward with this and they may feel like they're seeking some sort of permission for some reason rather than just kind of going with what their heart is telling them to go for like they're feeling the need to kind of i'm getting the words people please so this person may have had a difficulty with saying no to certain people certain things and I feel like this person is getting um, stronger in setting firmer boundaries with other people. And I'm getting you reap what you sow. So if this person hasn't been happy with a particular situation in their life, they're now looking at themselves and understanding, like understanding and understandably, I'm getting, understandably, are now recognising that they're reaping what they sow. And if they want the harvest of what they want, then they have to change certain actions within themselves because it's a sense of insanity doing the same thing over and over and over again. You don't get the changes that you are wanting. And this person could be recognizing some sort of patterns within themselves, but also with the people around them as well. Okay, because it's all, you know, we're all kind of just creatures of habit really. Um, so I feel like this person has definitely dealt with a lot of other people. Um, and I'm getting fights about money, fights about money, okay? But you've waited a long time for this person to get out of what they needed to get out of. Look at that. <laughs> Slowly but surely, kind of, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight of the deck. Um, especially when he's in reverse, it's literally like stubborn as a mule. Like, they, they just don't want to move anywhere. They don't want to do of anything um they're not interested but this person is definitely making headway but it's taken time it has but they, <laughs> look at this with the chariot <laughs> i mean we have one of the fastest moving energies here with the chariot as what you don't see in the sense of the unseen things are looking you know like they are going at rapid pace but you wouldn't necessarily know of that or see that obviously because it all looks like it's you know snail pace in the sense of the material but be reassured that actually there is a lot more happening here than meets the eye you could be dealing with a cancer and love is coming with the ace of cups so don't fret guys <laughs> the investment that you're wanting is coming i know that it's taken a long time to actually manifest but it is coming forward um, there has been heartache, you have been relatively sad about this kind of separation and I feel your person has been very sad about it too, but when you eventually get together it'll be very much worth it, but I feel like you know this deep down, look, 
Page of Wands and the Emperor. Beautiful. Look at that. With the High Priestess. See, you know they're going to reach out. You guys don't need to lie to me. <laughs> and I don't need to lie to you. I mean, this is it. Everything's out. Everything's going to be out on the table. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Cancer. There's that Divine Masculine energy I was telling you about. Okay. Also with the High Priestess in the spiritual realm of sense, the High Priestess is actually the Divine Feminine with either the Hierophant or the Magician. Okay. As the Divine Masculine. And obviously we do have the Empress, which is, you know, with the Emperor. Obviously not on the table, but... You know who you are, guys. And I'm reading energy rather than gender or sex here. So obviously, you know, please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. Bear with me as I just move the cards up the table so you get to see everything um, a lot more. Okay. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I greatly appreciate you guys. With the Four of Swords, yeah. You know without knowing that this person is coming forward to heal this connection with you but they just need to heal from something else or from someone else from before you know that it's a secret you know that it's a secret this person is trying to think that it's a secret of them making themselves available to you but you know it's not a secret because you already know but this person is in a sense frustrated because they probably know that you know that they're coming in and now they're like, oh, okay, well, I don't want to make it awkward or anything. Obviously, they know that I'm coming in, I'm getting ready to contact them and I don't just want to be friends with them. I, obviously, I want to start there first and build on something, you know, solid. But it's like they seem to know everything. Like your person feels like you know of everything. All you have to kind of do, in a sense, with temperance and the high priestess, priestess is well just ask <laughs> just ask and you get the sense of you know the receipts that you need the confirmation and the signs whatever you feel like you're needing at this time you just have to ask and it's there you know in your face but your person wants to heal this with you and <laughs> look at that with the chariot again you know that they're on the way with this love with the ace of cups i mean <laughs> you know this is going to feel like brand new energy when this person comes into your life, especially if this is a rekindling from the past. Um, you have a lot of history with each other. But, you know, for some of you, if this is a brand new soulmate coming in, um, it's going to take you very much by surprise in a sense of who it is. Obviously, like this new soulmate potentially could be someone that you didn't really kind of see before I'm getting. Um, they could be someone that you've worked with or someone that you've known since childhood or you're kind of late teens, early 20s, that type of thing. Um, you may have gone to, in a sense, like university together or college together or I'm getting um, apprenticeship for some reason, for someone, apprenticeship. Yeah, but I feel for predominantly like this is going to be someone that hasn't really made themselves known to you if it is a new soulmate, but they're kind of around you. And you kind of get a sense of who this could be, but you haven't fully seen it manifest as of yet for this person to kind of like declare how they feel for you, if you know what I mean. Or they have a crush on you or they're into you or whatever. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to take one more card. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone from the past. Um, but also I feel for a lot of you as well, you could be dealing with a very high level soulmate, a past life connection or also a divine counterpart twin flame with the emperor here and temperance and most likely with the high priestess here. What else here please? One last card for Gemini. For this tarot. Do you want me to shuffle again? Yep, they're getting ready to move forward very quickly with the knight of wands. So they've gone from knight of pentacles to then going for going for it basically with the chariot and it's moving quicker than you think but the fastest night the next fastest night is the um you have the swords and then you have the wands then the cups then the pentacles so yes things are still moving pretty quickly but it can't move too quickly otherwise there's going to be um chaos so that's why in a sense your person is probably being told to slow down right now 
I'm getting a, the sense of picking up speed and then slowing down at the same time. So maybe this person is a little bit scared of kind of, you know, taking the leap and moving on forward and then having to take a few steps back and they don't want to go and kind of go backwards. They want progress. So it's like they're not quite sure how to balance it as of yet into approaching you in a more measured way. I'm getting one more, please, to go underneath the page of wands. Do I take that? Yeah, look at that. Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's going to declare their feelings for you. You could be doing very well for yourself right now with your finances, okay? I feel like you're highly sought after. Definitely, potentially new people wanting to come in and date you for sure. Yeah, with that Knight of Wands energy as well. And look at this wanted to show out, the Seven of Cups. So you definitely have options, but just be careful in using your discernment with these people that are coming in, that you're not kind of led to someone who's going to be a bit of a heartbreaker. So I feel like for a lot of you, you'll be very much in tune in recognising who's going to be right for you and who's, who isn't going to be so right for you in relation to love, as I say that with the Ace of Cups, with the Knight of Wands. You know, whoever's going to be a bit flighty in your life, a bit inconsistent here, there and everywhere, I feel like you're just going to be completely um, turning down of those offers, like you're not interested in those at all. You are wanting something much more balanced and equal because you know what it's like to get your heart broken and to be, you know, I'm getting led astray um, or to be led on in some sort of way, which is, you know, incredibly cruel. Um, one more, please. For Gemini, thank you. King of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, look at this. With the Ace of Cups, bottom of the deck. How beautiful. Well, we like to see that. We have the Emperor and also the King of Pentacles. So I'm getting a strong indication, potentially for some of you, you could be dealing with a same-sex connection. That's for some. But I'm getting that, okay. Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Wow. And Death and Rebirth with the Two of Cups. Beautiful. Star. Okay. Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Right. I'm picking up a bit more here. I'm very intrigued by this Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. Okay. So we have 44 here. And also... With the one and the three for the death and rebirth, you add that up and that's another four. So four, four, four. So you could be seeing those numbers. And we have the additional four here with the emperor. So 44, 44, which is um, a very significant number. Okay. I feel like definitely here we do have a strong twin flame, um, div a divine connection here that's getting ready to kind of um, have their reconciliation to eventually lead to a permanent union I'm getting for things to move on forward very quickly but there has to be some sort of truth spoken about something that was very challenging from the past but I feel you're gonna have to be brave guys and have this talk and you know say what you feel like you need to say you know don't hold back as it were but at the same time I feel like you know how to approach it with this person you know how to be kind of compassionate and sensitive and empathic and also, you know, still kind of be in a sense fair and diplomatic and get what you feel like you need to say, regardless of how challenging it may be, but also kind of deal with it in a manner that's actually going to bring in the sense of balance and harmony between the two of you. But this person views you as their future spouse, for sure. They may also say to you that they... Um, they prioritised their material world and now they want to prioritise love. They want to go towards, you know, their emotions and their sense of spirituality. They feel like there is a strong connection between the two of you rather than necessarily focusing on their career, their finances or being in a long term agreement with someone who they've been financially tied to or legally tied to in some sort of capacity. They're wanting to break free out of a contract of sorts. They want to feel free. This person doesn't feel free in their mind or they haven't felt free in their mind. Like when you look at them from the outskirts, you would think, well, they've got freedom to roam, but they don't. They don't feel that way. They felt very stuck. They could have been dealing with someone 
who was quite controlling, um, a bit of a control freak, because there is a lot that can happen behind closed doors that, you know, we don't necessarily know of about. But I feel there's definitely a resurgence of a freshness of new love energy coming in for you and your love interest, if that's what you are wanting. This person is very much well aware of the connection that there is between the two of you. You may have a very strong kind of psychic, telepathic um, kind of communication with each other. This person is very much attracted to you and they don't know how to approach you. You may have your back to this person at this time. You know, you have shown your sense of loyalty to this person and you have said to them, look, I do want stability in my life. And now if I have to provide that for myself at this time, then fair enough. And not to say that, you know, when this person eventually comes in, then it's all, you know, all the reins go to this person and they have to kind of do of everything. You know, I feel like there will be a much more equal balance, but you're not kind of showing to this person that you need of them. And there is a difference between needing of someone and wanting someone. And I feel like you're maybe coming across as very independent right now. You're wanting a long term connection or a commitment or a marriage, you know, something solid and stable. And you'll absolutely get that. I really genuinely feel like you will get this. Um, but you've had to kind of, you know, make sure that you're not going to kind of be walked all over, you know, not be some sort of pushover and to kind of just for the sake of whoever you're dealing with, regardless of how strong the connection is that you have with this person, you're not to kind of just, you know, play dead as it were like you just kind of let them get away with whatever they want because you feel the deeper connection with them and I also feel like for a lot of you who are dealing with a twin flame you kind of have to take the label out of it does this person treat me in this particular way in the way that I want to be treated and if that's not so at the case then you know you need to have discussion about that and I feel like you will do and that's why I'm getting that kind of queen of swords energy like you know you there's no heart like hair on your tongue you're just there's no flies on you, you just say it as it is. And it may come across as a little bit blunt or direct or potentially to this person a bit cold. But at the same time, you know, you're not going to get your wires crossed that way. It's the sense of you have been very much in your heart space for a long time when it comes to this connection. But there had had something had happened that had to get you to separate from your, yourself in that sense to then be more in your headspace and then look at this from another perspective. But yet this person is having to do the complete opposite where they've been up in their head and they've been in a more kind of logical, rational sense and they need to be more emotive and be more in their heart space. And then so it's a sense of the equilibrium of you and this person coming together and meshing as it were and having that sense of alignment with one another at a later date. That's what I'm feeling anyway, guys. But um, let's look into these other cards. So this is so beautiful, guys. I'm really excited for you. Um, absolutely. But we have the soulmates in separation here, unspoken love messages. And see what your um, love interests would like to confess to you or what you would like to confess to them or say to them. As you've most likely been in separation for a while, for quite a lot of you. Um... I'm getting months or years, but predominantly I'm feeling years, okay? And it's hard, it really is. But you guys are doing, I'm getting, you guys are doing a smashing job. <laughs> I'm getting, hitting it out the park, the ballpark. So I'm getting baseball. Um, so you may like sports, your person likes sports. I'm getting very much like American sports for some of you. Yeah, okay. So, what are these messages for Gemini? What wants to be said, please and thank you. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's emotional. Um, I'm getting that actually this person may be saying this to themselves as well. Because... They could have actually neglected themselves before in relation to self-love. That's why they weren't able to give to you or really give to anyone else. They may have pushed people away or put them at arm's length. 
And so therefore they could actually be kind of speaking in a sense to their childhood self with that page of wands and saying or their teenage version of themselves look I'm really sorry that you've had to go through all the ish that you've had to go through um I should have treated you better and you are deserving of love in your life you are deserving of being cared for you are deserving of being nurtured and everything else and this person didn't do this for themselves and I feel like they're starting to really acknowledge that because they weren't doing it for themselves they weren't able to do this with you and so you came forward with the full cup yes you may have had to do some healing but I feel like predominantly a lot of you came with a full cup or a nearly full cup like you've done a lot of work from before you may have not been fully healed and we're never ever fully healed but you had kind of worked on yourself enough to be able to kind of be brave and put yourself out there and say look you know I do feel the way that I feel for you and this person may have just gone huh, like this with the cup and that could have really been very painful and so then it, it brought up something more for you and so therefore you had to really focus more on your sense of healing um, but I'm also getting this person is wanting to say to you look I wish I could have loved you the way that you deserve to be loved because you didn't do anything wrong I'm getting you didn't do anything wrong you didn't deserve that and I'm sorry what else here for Gemini I'm getting I was selfish what else please wow I keep getting drawn to that wor word look and then how weird is that oh my gosh I was literally in my mind kind of going I, I'm getting drawn to that I wish I wish I wish like this person is going through wishful thinking right now oh it's wishful thinking that the things are gonna change blah 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 I can't do this I can't do that making excuses etc etc and kind of giving all the power away to everyone else around them rather than taking their power back and now I'm getting I wish I could I wish I could but they want to cover that I wish I could and actually be able to turn that into a, a an action and actually put the action out there. Hurting you hurt me even more. They didn't want to hurt you, but I feel like you were very hurt from all of this. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. Wow. You will always have a special place in my heart that nobody else can fill. You are always in my dreams. Wow. So I feel well, for a lot of you, you are dealing very, with a very um, high level soulmate, twin flame. You dream of this person. They dream of you. Bottom of the deck, we have, I am damaged and not deserving of your love. Yeah, that's why they pushed you away, guys. They didn't have this sense of love for themselves. Look. You gave of this love and they pushed it away. They thought maybe it's going to be like everything else, but you weren't and it wasn't. And this person didn't feel right within themselves and that they had to go through a major transformation in their life. They had to go through some sort of ego death in order to be able to heal and embrace this love at some point and things to really move on forward. And then for them to get to this point where they're getting ready to contact you or communicate with you or travel to see you, etc. But this person felt deep down that they weren't deserving. Or maybe you even felt like you weren't deserving. You weren't worthy because of what happened before and you took all of this very personally. I mean, who wouldn't? You know, it makes sense. Of course you would think, oh, it's personal against me. But actually... You know, you're probably rejected from this person because you were being protected and they may have some sort of, you know, unconsciously been protecting you by pushing you away. And maybe that was like their higher self in a sense telling them to kind of push you away. Because they knew that they weren't quite ready yet. But you needed to get that confirmation from your higher self as well that actually the love was still there between the two of you. 
but you may have been more in a place of ego as well potentially for some of you and then took it personally and thought that this person isn't isn't into you or doesn't love you my heart was blocked i was not available to receive your love when you gave it now they want to open up the gateway to you you accepted me for the good the bad and the ugly and i couldn't do the same yeah this person wasn't able to do the same as you i'm getting lots of messages so obviously with this reading please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest but let's look into the hidden truth oracle let's get some messages for this please just three messages but this person had a lot to say or you have a lot to say to each other gemini thank you no they said no That wasn't it. That was just my mistake. Well, <laughs> my mistake, maybe. I know it was a distraction from your pain. I replay our conversations over and over again. Maybe they use their, their career or their work as a distraction from the pain in the sense that they hadn't healed. From the connection of whatever happened with you and this person. I love you unconditionally. The timing just wasn't right for us. I feel you even though we are apart and you were the best thing in my life. You speak to me through music. Gosh, guys, wow. Ooh. let's get into this lover's oracle and see what advice guidance or closing message we can get for you today so if you are enjoying this reading and you did fancy supporting myself in the channel there is a donation link now available so thank you so much to those of you who already donated i greatly appreciate you guys even if you do not financially donate a great way to energetically donate is to like share subscribe and comment down below and i'll eventually get back to you guys on those comments so thank you for your patience on that i greatly appreciate you all so let's get into this shall we interest of love and light can we please have three messages three cards for gemini sun moon rising and venus what do they need to know as these closing messages What do they need to know? Feel that one. Two more, please, for Gemini. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Wow. So I'm getting a strong sense of mirroring here, guys. So if you are very high level soulmates, so twin flames, and you have that sense of mirroring, I'm getting that. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Last card. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Wow. I love you and I love you unconditionally. And then the Ace of Cups. How stunning that is. I'm getting very much drawn to the word always, always. So, yeah, always, as in eternal. I'm getting that song now, I love you for infinity. Bottom of the deck. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Wow. So this person is now 
getting out of their head so much and moving into their heart space because they realize that in order to get where they want to get to and to be in this connection with you permanently and fully and embrace this and have that sense of intimacy emotional intimacy that you know love that divine love with one another then they have to kind of listen to what their soul wants if they are to have this union reunion or reconciliation with you and they want to do that if they were to really sit down with themselves and isolate themselves and meditate and kind of go within as well like this person would would know that they have all the answers within themselves already they don't need other people or other people places and things to kind of tell them what they should be doing or shouldn't be doing and i feel like they are i'm getting a sense getting more in tune with spirituality as well so this person can become more of an equal for you okay wow beautiful reading but i um i hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as i've enjoyed reading for you today and if you did enjoy this reading please hit the thumbs up the the like button as that does make a massive difference with the channel and it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. Please take care and we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you. Bye now.